What I'm most concerned about is making sure that we actually have real party unity, not pretend party unity. I want real party unity, and that's what I'm most concerned about. Just moments ago, House Speaker Paul Ryan on the Trump candidacy and Clinton's email troubles as well. Joining me now is Michael Steele and John Fury, both former aides to former House Republican speakers. Uh, well, first to you, John Fury. Paul Ryan is in a truly awkward situation here. Uh, when can you recall a House Speaker not endorsing the nominee of his party? And Donald Trump went over the top today. Uh, never. Um, I don't remember this uh, happening in my lifetime. Um, but, you know, I think that Paul Ryan, this is a very unconventional political season, and Donald Trump is a very unconventional politician, if a politician at all. And I think Paul is trying to cover for some of his members who just don't know if they can go there yet. And I think he's also probably has some personal misgivings. Uh, but, you know, the, the fact is, is that the party is unifying. Uh, Trump got 1237. Uh, he's going to go beyond that. And he's got about the same percentage of uh, delegates that Mitt Romney had uh, during his uh, uh, nomination fight. He got more delegates than he's going to get more delegates than John McCain. So our party is pretty much unified. Uh, Eighty-six percent of the Republicans say they're going to vote for Trump. So I think it's it's time for the party to all unify and uh, beat Hillary Clinton. Uh, but let me play for you what Donald Trump had to say uh, about Hispanics, because he may, they may be unified, but you uh, have a nominee who has alienated uh, enormous sectors of the American people. Let's watch. My relationship with Hispanics is fantastic. Um, I know so many, so many of friends. They buy apartments from me. They rent apartments from me. And I have so many employees that are Hispanic. They're incredible people. Uh, Michael Steele, uh, what about that? That was on extra. Well, no, I think that's I think that's exactly the kind of comment that makes the speaker and many many other Republicans extremely uh, reluctant to offer full-throated support to Donald Trump, even as he is the presumptive nominee. I think the attacks on Governor Martinez uh, fall in the same category. The kind of thing that make a lot of Republicans very very nervous about our presumptive nominee. And another one of his attacks, and you may, as Republicans, appreciate him going back at uh, Elizabeth Warren, who's been an attack dog against him. But look at the ethnic slur that he employs in going after her. My relationship with Hispanics is fantastic. Um, I know so many, so many of friends. They buy apartments from me. They rent apartments from me. And I have so many. And that clearly was not the right the right clip. I think we were we were referring to, of course, him going after Elizabeth Warren and referring to her uh, by the nickname Pocahontas. I think we have it here. Did you ever hear of Pocahontas? Huh? It's Pocahontas Elizabeth Warren. She was going out. She is probably the senator that's doing just about the least in the United States Senate. She's a total failure. There's been a lot of conversation about the Trump-Warren matchup, but very little uh, has, has been said about the ethnic slur in referring to her as Pocahontas. John Fury? Oh, yeah. Well, listen, I think, uh, listen, uh, Donald Trump is politically completely incorrect. He says things that are completely outrageous, and that's both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness, because he's not, not a politician. He doesn't talk like a politician, and he says things that are completely out of bounds. And, uh, you know, it, it's, it's part of his charm and part of his greatest weakness. And Michael Steele, you know, says right there, uh, the, the nervousness of some Republicans to, to support him because he is so politically incorrect. Uh, Michael Steele, what do you expect Paul Ryan to do as he tries to bridge this gap? Well, I think he's going to continue working with uh, the presumptive nominee to try and find some common ground, find a place where he can get comfortable. I think as Republicans, what we all want is a nominee that we can be proud of, that we can have real unity around and really support going into November. Because we're, the important thing to remember here is that the, the alternative is most likely Hillary Clinton. And as we saw again with the IG report this week, she has extremely questionable judgment about crucial areas, including national security. So we think she would be a disaster for our economy, a disaster for our national security. And we hope we can get to a place where we can all get together and unite behind a, uh, our nominee and beat her in the fall. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.